Hi, I'm Lynn Mahoney, president of San Francisco State University. This week marks our return to in-person instruction and services. I thank the faculty and staff who quickly pivoted to provide quality remote instruction and services, and thank those who've kept operations going from our facilities and business staff to our informational technology and academic technology teams. None of this has been easy. And I so appreciate the work done to get the semester off to a good, albeit unusual start. I am beyond happy to welcome the more than 17,000 students who are returning to campus for in-person classes and the thousands of staff, faculty, and administrators who have also returned. It is a pleasure to see our buildings and our grounds alive again with the energy created by student learning. Remote or in-person, the San Francisco State community continues to thrive and succeed. I ask you to pause, take a moment, reflect on what you've accomplished this year. I'm going to take a moment to congratulate us all on some of the remarkable accomplishments our community has achieved. This year, we were recognized by the Campaign for College Opportunity, the state's preeminent organization devoted to educational equity as an equity champion for excellence and transfer for Latinx students. Our staff and faculty are deeply engaged with the success of our students. Dozens of staff from many offices have made hundreds of phone calls and worked hard to remove barriers for students who had left San Francisco State. Over 300 students have now returned and are once again making progress toward transformative degrees. And we've launched new academic programs that align with our broader social justice goals, including the College of Ethnic Studies Empowerment Certificate for Incarcerated Youth. Our faculty continue to distinguish themselves as teachers and as scholars. Almost 150 faculty have completed our signature programs in pedagogies for inclusive excellence. Since the pandemic began, faculty have completed more than 2,600 professional development programs offered by the Center for Equity and Excellence in Teaching and Learning, devoting more than 46,000 hours of their time to this. Our faculty are regularly recognized nationally for their research and commitments to their students and their professions. I highlight just two of many. The National Science Foundation awarded Assistant Professor of Biology, Robin Crook, a highly competitive early career grant award. San Francisco State faculty ranks second in the CSU for the largest numbers of these very prestigious awards. The Fulbright US Scholar Program awarded Associate Professor of Sociology Valerie Francisco Manchavez, a prestigious award to study Filipino migrant care workers and migrations in the context of a global pandemic. Our faculty expertise has also been drawn upon in discussions of a recent Hollywood movie. Chair of the Department of Physics and Astronomy, Joseph Barranca participated in, panel, in a panel discussion with actor Leonardo DiCaprio and director Adam McKay about the science underlying the film Don't Look Up a 2021 recipient of the Sloan Science and Cinema Prize and a must-see film. Our students continue to shine. Eight talented San Francisco State students have been named CSU pre-doctoral scholars to support their success as they pursue doctoral programs and contribute to the building of a diverse professoriate. Alumni and friends of the university continue to show their support for our work. We are on track to set a record for the annual fund this year and to meet our $20 million goal for fundraising. And we have returned to a campus that will soon be humming with the sound of construction as work begins on the Science and Engineering Innovation Center. And despite our remote start, we are making great strides as a university on key forward-facing initiatives. We hosted our first all-university retreat where students, faculty, staff, and administrators engaged with one another to focus on our greatest priority, producing more highly qualified San Francisco State graduates and closing our equity gaps. And we've launched a new strategic planning process that will allow us to work together to chart our post-pandemic future and best prepare California's next generation of leaders. Please, please visit the calendar on our homepage and sign up for a focus group or a workshop today. While our return this week is not a return to normal, it mar marks our return to one another. And with that, an opportunity to work together to create an even more special San Francisco State University. As always, I urge you to say hello when you're on campus or invite me to take a campus walk with you. 
I look forward to seeing you all. Have a great semester. Go Gators. <laughs>